Are we ready to start? Oh, it's already starting. All right, this is Mom's start, lasagna. Let's start with putting lasagna, uh, spaghetti sauce on the bottom. We have one, we have two pounds of hamburger and four pounds of sauce. Okay. We're doing two batches. Okay. Now we're starting this. Mom pre-washed her noodle, pre not washed. <laughs> we cooked <laughs> the noodles. <laughs> and we're going to start with... Do you want a fork? No, I'm going to use my hand, but this is where I need the water. Okay. Oh, she just dipped her hand, her hand in water to cool off her fingers. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> so you just do three across? Yep. Okay. Three across. Boopity boop boop. <laughs> Okay, I can Let's do, that. do that. Go bring the water over. Yeah. I think that might be simple. Okay. It's, and my hands are nice and clean. So. <laughs> Sorry. I just. I try to use the pretty ones. This is the background we have undercover boss going on. <laughs> you okay? Yes, <laughs> this is. And these are going to stick, so I think we might need, still might need to put the water. Do I need to fill it up more? Or? Um, yeah, while I'm doing this, okay. maybe. Yeah. Fill up the pot with more water? Yeah, I'm thinking so because they're going to stick. Tyler, can you help me for a minute? You fill this pot just up some more? So, just so the noodles don't stick too much together. Okay, so I do a strip. Can you fill that pot with some more cold water? The noodles are sticking. So the noodles. Did you put olive oil on there? No, I didn't. You should. Okay. We'll I thought he did. I thought he did. Make oh, wait, I don't think so. Ryan, did you put olive oil in the water? No, just salt. Okay, at this point, I alternate three cheese. Um, she's gonna set the whole colander on top of it, so enough to cover like the bottom part of the colander. It's just to cool it off. Okay, this is a part that I mess up. The ratio of ricotta. I love it, so I go overboard. No, your your proportions are perfect. I was telling. Emily, that you were coming over to help, and she's like, oh, good, I like grandma's lasagna. Oh, sweet. <laughs> sweet. I hope, I hope it's a success after all that. Uh -oh. so. boop -dee boop I just do it in blobs. Little blobs. Like that, and then I alternate the blobs. I do whole ricotta. Is that what you do? Whole, not the skin. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't... Yeah, okay, so now we've got that. Whole ricotta, and this time I did mozzarella provolone, but I think we usually just do mozzarella. Just yeah, I what just I grabbed. Like okay. So that's definitely less than I do, so this is good. So no. And I had... Uh, Parmesan, um, what's it called, Romano mix, and then I had some fresh Parmesan. Oh, I usually just okay, do go regular. Mom usually just, just does Parmesan. That's it, just Parmesan okay, usually. Okay, so this is ready for the next layer. Okay. So hopefully, let's see if this is without overflowing. Hopefully that just keep it from sticking together. That's a plate that Ryan painted from all fired up.
The aggressive stirring. Mm -hmm. The aggressive stirring that we, we're doing. I don't usually pre-cook mine, so maybe that's the difference. I say I've done that once, and it, I don't know, I don't remember that it made a big difference. And I just so then I do a row again. Boop. Boop. So I think the other thing I do is I like cover the whole layer and you just kind of keep it centered around each noodle. Yeah, I just So that keeps your proportions better. And it, whenever you cut it, then it's, cons they're all pretty much consistent. Okay. Okay, so now, now I'm doing the, the ricotta. Boop. 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 Sound effects are really good. <laughs> Boopity boop. So then I try to alternate. See, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Usually they're. Mm -hmm. I like the ricotta too. I usually taste test the ricotta in between each layer just to make sure it's still good. layer. Let me check for ricotta and make sure that's still good. Oh. It's still good. We probably don't have to record the whole thing now. We kind of get the gist of it. So I'll stop it here. Well, if it tastes good, then you can. We could leave, we could record cooking it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be really. So we have the oven so at three fifty, and you cover it. Yes, I cover it. About how many layers do you usually do? Three or four? Three or four. <laughs> <laughs> yes, her answer was yes. Here's Ryan. Hi. Is that? I'm just recording. Mm -hmm. However much it's beautiful spaghetti sauce I have. That's how far I get. So the I secret is, I think she got, got, does just the center of the noodle. She oh, doesn't yeah. cover the whole layer. Watch, watch and learn. Boop. 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 And then you do, um, you cover it, you said? I do cover it with foil. And you do, how long, 45 minutes? About 45 to an hour. Okay. And the, the last thing is to put the top noodle on, noodles on, and sprinkle it with um, a little bit of sauce and 
um, Parmesan. I don't, and that's it. No mozzarella on the top? No. Oh. Just Parmesan on the top. Oh. That is different than what I do. So you basically close yours. <laughs> it's yeah. closed. It's like a noodle. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Maybe that's part of it. So I think we're going to get four layers, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This is the third one. I think so. It looks like we have enough stuff. We got some sauce, enough sauce. It looks to me like. All right, so you want to finish this up? Yes. I'm not going to put, I need to save the rest of that. So however far, this will probably be it. Okay. One, one more layer. I'm thinking we're good. What do you think? Yeah. I think we have more uh, Parmesan if you need it in that jar. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't yeah. think we used it all. Yeah. Well, I didn't skimp. Okay. I didn't skimp yet. I was going to, but I... Yeah, I think this will be the last one. We might this have... is the top layer? Uh, or is it going to get one more? I think we can make one more layer. What Ooh, do you think? Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. I think so. Let's go ahead. So we're going to get basically four layers on the top. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. Four layers and... But then... What I usually end up getting is one one whole lasagna and then a small pan. Like about one and a half or one and a third. Oh, okay. And then the, you know, this little pan. Mm-hmm. And... It doesn't end up with as much cheese and stuff in it. Whatever's left, I put in that one. Okay. So I, I need, uh, I'll need six more to finish up. Okay. Six more big noodles, hopefully. You may or may not have enough for the little overflow pan. So this one is going to be another layer, right? Uh, yeah. So it looks like we're, we're, yeah. we're good to go. Yeah, it's happening. I put a little bit on the tip top. I have more sauce too, another small jar if we need it for the extra one. I had got it to make something and then we realized we were making it the wrong way, so it's extra. It's funny in my mind, lasagna is, oh, as a kid, oh, lasagna takes forever. It's so much work to make, but this part only took about 15 minutes. Yeah. 
I guess there's the prep of, you know, browning the meat yeah. and the nice. boiling the noodles yeah. and the good. steps, yeah. <laughs> We're down to the uglies. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Yeah. So I'm gonna put. Yeah, we won't have enough for the little overflow one. Oh, you said you. I have a whole another jar, a small jar of sauce. Well, we could. We won't have meat, but it could still be sauce. Um, I don't usually put quite so much anyway. So. Do you want a little bit more for the top of the other one, for more sauce? For these? Oh, yeah. Not for these. Okay. This is just, yeah. It's good. Okay. Oops. I'm washing the wall. I forgot that okay. I was recording. Okay. No, it's definitely different than what I, the way I do it, so this really? is good. Yeah. So you, you did find it? Yeah. I hope I did it right. I'm sure you did. Okay, and now we're going to cover, cover it. it up. Pop it in. And then we'll finish up with the what little we got left here. Okay. So we've got 